good morning everyone uh, welcome back to the stat classes today i will be discussing regarding the earthquake analysis on structure as well as rcc design on structures okay practically uh maybe uh dona ma'am will be teaching you the steel structures while i will be focusing on primarily on the rcc design of structure in the previous classes we have learned regarding that how to develop a structure how to assign loads how to assign supports and different aspects now in this uh, class first in the last class uh, in the last phase of this class that is the last class uh, we uh, talked about earthquake analysis i discussed the basic theory where uh, we use is 1893 code to uh, analyze earthquake or to study the seismic analysis on any structure as per as indian codes are concerned we have is 1893 2002 version and 2019 version now in the last day i discussed about the basic theory now today in the previous model which we have taken that we will the previous model which we had taken that is the school building uh, present in the bhuj that same part we will uh, take the model we will take the same model and we will find out the seismic study it is very important to find out the seismic study on a structure practically on those structures where we are interested to find the earthquake analysis now why we are more interested because those structures which are located in earthquake prone areas they are very much vulnerable to earthquake even also when we are going for earthquake resistant design that is a philosophy given in the is code if we are going for earthquake resistant design of structures then also we have to conduct the static analysis or dynamic analysis on the structure it is quite interesting to find out that how the earthquake forces are distributed in all the floors for the structure so let me share the screen first so if you see that uh, previously we had discussed all these details which are given in the is code i talked about that various methods we have pardon just a minute let me share the screen yeah so now i am sharing the screen so i discussed the last day how to develop a full scale building and we are taking the same school building which is present or located in bujadkwe regarding the theories and all the details of the code we all know that we have two main methods equivalent static analysis method i am again repeating equivalent static analysis and dynamic analysis under this dynamic analysis we have time history method 
and response spectrometer. All these questions will surely come in your Viva exams. Now for regular buildings, if we are going for a structure which has a regular plan or a regular elevation, that means uh, we don't have some different geometry like a circular or non-uniform or irregular buildings means which are not square or rectangle. Apart from the square and rectangle, all buildings are regarded as irregular buildings. So, as I discussed that last day, this is our primary formula where we find out the coefficient of spectra, that is design base shear VB, which is equals to AH multiplied with the seismic weight. Now, this AH is the coefficient, spectral coefficient which is uh, the formula is zi by 2r multiplied with sa by g. w is the total seismic weight which will be automatically calculated by the standard. Now our issue is to find out this part that is the seismic zone factor z. Then we have the importance factor i. Then we have the response spectra r that is the response reduction factor and SA by G, this part. Okay. This formula is very important. Why it is very important? Because these questions or the theoretical aspect are nowadays asked in various civil engineering interviews. Even they are coming in some of the competitive examples. So coming to this, uh, let us first open the file where we had developed a school building. So I will be opening the school building. Very importantly, you have to see that the original building which you have created using dead load and live load, you will make a copy of that file. Why you have to make a copy of that file? Because many times you will require to uh, design the building only based on live loads and dead load, which is the basic, uh, typical or conventional or traditional way we design. Just taking the dead loads and live loads, properly giving the load items, properly designing the structures like beams, columns and slabs, and we conduct the design and we give the output or we give the structural drawing. That is why it's very important you make a copy of that original file and you do the earthquake analysis. Okay, very important. So first, what will I do? If you check all these files, everything which we had done the last day, they're all present. First, what will I do? For earthquake or whenever we are understanding or whenever we are made our mind, to conduct a seismic study that is usually static analysis because static analysis is easy and it is a direct method. So first what we will do, we will go to this seismic definition. If you see the file in the right side, we will first go to seismic definition. You all know by this time that in the, I think you have learned in previous classes that for wind load, we go for wind definitions, right? I hope everyone knows this. If someone doesn't know, it's your fault. So we will go for seismic definitions and we will double click this or we can add. So we have clicked on this seismic definition and we are clicking on this add option. So this is the thing where we have the various seismic parameters. The seismic parameters obviously is available in different types of national and international codes. So what you have to select, you have to go to type and we have to click this button. We have to click this drop down, drop down menu and we have to select IS 1893 2002 
or 2005 version. The 2016 version is not present in this file. The 2016 or the latest version is not installed in this uh, version of STAT. 2016 version is installed in the latest, that is the STAT Pro Connect, which is still not in practice in many of the uh, civil engineering or four sector offices. So we mainly go for this IS 1893 2002 code. So now we will go to generate. Now we are or we are going to generate some of the parameters like this which I was telling you. That is here we have this uh, seismic coefficient or the seismic coefficient is calculated by this part zi by 2r zi by 2r multiplied with sa by g. So these are the parameters we will be putting in the seismic definition. Come to the file. So this is the, so we will click generate and the seismic definition pop-up box will come up. After this pop-up box has came into the picture, what are the things we will follow? Please uh, see it minutely. Because this is the part which you will require with high importance when you are going for BTEC project. I don't know whether the college will open or not, but if the things will run on online, then StatPro is a very good software to conduct a BTEC project. Even particularly, we can conduct earthquake analysis in Stat. In that earthquake analysis, we can consider regular buildings or irregular buildings. First, what we will select, we will select the city. Either you can select the city or you can select the zone. We have this library present or installed inside the stat file. If we see the annexure D of IS 1893 code, these are there. Along with the city, we have the zone factor. Either you can click the zone and you can click the zone factor, zone number. Or you can click the city and let us select. So our city is Bhuj. So here the cities are alphabetically placed. We will click on this Bhuj and automatically we can see the zone factor is 0.36. Let us check what is the zone number for zone 4 or the for zone 5. The zone factor is 0.36. Okay. So 0.36. Now zone 5 is also 0.36. Why the place Bhuj is uh, allotted with zone factor 0.36 or zone 5? Because already earthquake have taken place. So this is a zone or this is the area with high vulnerability or high chances of earthquake. Secondly, now we will select the response reduction factor. That is R value. The response reduction factor primarily are of two types. Already in the code, I have discussed earlier, if you have downloaded the code, you will be able to understand this thing. If you have not downloaded this, you will never be able to understand. And it is very easy task. I hope this all have been discussed in your last semester while you were taught the RCC design and detail. So there are two main types. If you design a building using IS 456, then we will go for ordinary moment resting frame OMRF. If you select here in the fifth, sixth, uh, sixth line, we have seen ordinary RC moment resting frame OMRF. For OMRF, instantly we know the response reduction factor is three. If you are designing the structure as earthquake resistant and you are the you are designing according to is 13 920 1993 that also got updated in 2019 
so is 13920 this is the code for seismic uh, duct detailing so for that structures where you have used that code or we have to design earthquake resistance structure then you can select special moment resistance frame but since this is the structure which is existing this is the model which is existing then we have to choose only OMRA because this building it has been designed using normal IS-456 because it was existing before Bhuj earthquake so before 2001 when the Bhuj earthquake took place in Gujarat there was no code that is the IS-1390 it was not very famous so we will select OMRF and for general buildings it will be normal residential building if you select important buildings that stands for it may be school college commercial building offices restaurants malls and all these things so all the buildings where a huge gathering of public will take place then we can select important buildings next the soil type let us uh, we obviously we have to know the soil type in that area let us take the soil type is medium or rather we can go to this file and see what is the soil type is given if you go to the problem statement here it is written that if you check properly that the building is located in Bhuj, Gujarat and founded on medium soil okay so for any problem statement you need the zone factor as well as the soil type coming back to the model so we will select medium soil structure type rc frame structures damping ratio what is the damping ratio for rcc i told you earlier what is the damping ratio of rcc buildings so 0.2%. 0.2%. 5%, 0.05. .05. The damping ratio of RC structure is 0.05. And for steel structure, it is 3%, 0.03. So after taking this damping ratio 5, now if you select the steel structure, steel frame structure, then your damping ratio will be 3%. So since it is RC frame structure, so we will take it is 5. Now what is the things to uh, choose? Next thing we have to choose is that time or the natural time period. See here time period in X section X and time period in Z. So if we have to calculate what is X and what is Z. That is a natural time period. I already told you, let us show you the slide. Pardon. Uh, I'm coming to that. Yeah. This is the formula to calculate the natural time period 0 0.09 multiplied with H divided by root D. So this H is the height of the building, while D is the base dimension of the building at the plinth level along the direction constant. That means if we see the ground, there are two directions. First is X and another is Z. So we have to calculate the length of the plan along X direction first and find out the time period. And similarly, the, uh, the, the distance or the length along Z direction in plan. So let us come to the original file. Uh, let me come to this plan build the plan. Yeah. So this is the plan. If you see this 4 plus 2, 6 meter. So 4 plus 2, 6 meter. This is the direction along Z and 5 into 6, 30 meter along X direction. And what is the height? The height of the building is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. 16 meters. So 16 meters is the height, and you're taking this 
option you just you can go to that now if you want to find out that you can find out the time period so the ta this uh, coming to this formula if you see yeah coming to this formula so ta will be if we you take along x direction 0 0.09 multiplied with 16 meters divided by root t that is length around x direction how much it is coming someone please calculate and tell me the answer tx and tz wait you have the direction that is uh, the d dx d suffix x is 30 meter while uh, d suffix z is 6 meter and height is 16 meter so you have to calculate the time period along both the direction x and z so along x direction have you calculated anyone yes sir 0 0.26 as x direction 0 0.26 thank you ritam another is the tz Zero point zero nine multiplied with sixteen divided by root six. Zero point five eight. Yes. Zero point five. So among these two, usually what people do, we calculate these two values. And many people, to make it short, what they do, the time period which are the, which they are getting the lesser time period that they take into consideration. That means. The time period along x direction is 0.26 seconds, while the time period, the natural time period of in z direction is 0.5. So along the plan, if you check along the direction in which the length is more, the time period is less, and the direction along which the time period is less, the sorry along the direction in which if you check here. Along x direction, if you see, along x direction, our distance is more, so time period is less. Right? The time period is less. And along z direction, it is 6 meter, distance is less, and time period is zero. So we will take that value where the time period is less. But we will calculate both these values and we will put this in the stat file. Okay, so because we have to be more accurate. So finally, this is our seismic parameter box. We have to check final time. You can zone factor five, or you can choose the city, which is the city zone factor is eight point three six. Ordinary moment resting frame three. Important buildings one point five. Importance is I. Importance factor I. Hard uh, medium soil. RC frame structures, damping ratio 5%, period in X and period in Z, all the values have been given the input. That means this part, if I see this portion, this portion is taken care by the seismic definition parameter box. So come back to this file. And we will click generate. This is very important. We have to click generate. That means I have prepared my, or the, I have prepared the memory of Stat Pro that these are the parameters I have input. This is the first thing you have to do for system. What is the next thing? Now we will come to. Obviously, we will add this. Because without adding this, see here, automatically it has been added. Without adding this, it will be vague. Okay. So instantly we have added this, and the right side is as k. So we will, after this, we will close this. Now there are various methods to give the seismic weight. I told you we have this W. We have this W, 
this is the seismic weight seismic weight you have already given in the dead load but that is the load of dead load seismic weight what it does it borrows the dead load and inserts into its box that means self weight or the seismic weight sorry seismic weight is not a different type of weight it borrows all the values from the dead load and it possesses itself how to do that let us see so first we will go to stat editor you will go to stat editor in this stat editor what is our main thing very importantly first let us we will select all this thing we will select all these uh, items starting from self if you see here load one load type dead load after this statement you see here load one load type dead title dead load after this sentence you will select all these till floor load that means you will copy all the options before the live load and you will copy these statements now where will you paste it you will paste in the sentence just after this line zone 0.36 response factor 3 stss all these things are given that is the seismic parameters are given after this line you will paste this command lines understood what is this is the basic trick i am telling you this is the best way no one can teach you in this it is the simplest way there are many uh, video lectures where you will get they have taken the self weight or the seismic weights in a different format no problem but the way which i am showing there will never be any problem so i have copied these statements let me show you again i have copied these statements starting from self weight till the flow load and i have pasted in under the earthquake parameter now what is the second thing first thing seismic parameter creation that is the seismic uh, parameter generation seismic definition second is copy paste this command line okay third thing very important see here we will remove all the minus sign or because dead load is vertical load which are acting from top to bottom so this minus sign will be removed earthquake is never minus it is laterally occurring it is horizontal force so there should not be any minus sign before the self weight factor 1 so it will be self weight even the y will be removed okay the self weight y y will be removed and minus symbol will be removed first thing next so i hope you are writing this in a copy because all these things whatever i am discussing you never know i will be asking all these questions during a viva time and if you are not able to answer your marks will be reflecting uh, in a horrific picture even the fourth years i've got my marks already know them second thing after removing the y after removing the minus sign in the next line we will remove the member load and transform it to member weight that is a member load will be re replaced by member weight i hope everyone can see in the screen those who are not uh, studying from the cell phone please double click on the screen so that you will be able to see and please make this notes in a copy so member load will be converted to member weight very important okay because a uh, seismic weight because the loads or the weights acting under the seismic definition they will never able to understand that the load word they they do not understand the load word they will understand weight so member weight this thing and also we will remove see here we had put the wall thickness exterior wall thickness interior wall thickness and parapet wall thickness as uh, uniform uh, that is the udl 
uniformly distributed load. So here, the GY, that is a global Y direction, it was acting vertically downwards. So GY will be removed and also the minus sign will be removed. So U and I, see here, again I am showing this thing, this line, U and I, GY minus 12. That means it was minus 12 kN per meter. So we will simply remove this GY and minus him. Only the value will be UNI 12. There is uniformly vary, uh, sorry, uniformly distributed load of 12 kN per meter. That also positive sign. Similarly, we will apply for these interior walls, interior wall thickness. UNI GY and minus wall is removed. So in all the statements, wherever you will find out UNI, GY minus, GY and minus, these three things will be omitted. Coming to flow load. Flow load will be again replaced by flow weight. Because I told you, seismic definition, they do not understand the load keyword. But if you are doing for dead load and live load, they will understand. So after this flow load, what is the next thing? Come to the next line, remove the minus symbol, minus 3.75 it was. So remove the minus sign and GY will be removed. Others will remain same. That is a wide range, 0, 0,17, that is 70 meter height. F load, GY will be removed and minus will be. So these things are to be made punctually when you are going for seismic definition. So we have done three things. First is seismic definition creation. We have copied and pasted the command lines. And third is we have removed these things. So what we have removed? Please someone uh, tell me so that I can feel that you are interested enough. Anyone? Minus sign R O C Y. Very good. G Y. Okay. Good. Okay. So these things you will change. Three things. Fourth thing is slip. So basically the seismic loads have already there is one error. So let us see where the error is. Yeah, the error is I know that the because see here the Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio. Strength of concrete, all they are same. Already we have done it. The only thing, the problem is coming, that is the DM, that is damping factor. This comes, they by default take it 5. It should be 0 0.05. Okay. Make it, these things very important. Automatically they take 5%, but when you will run, it will show some error. You will never able to understand where is the error. The error is by default, in this statement, DM is the damping ratio or damping factor. This will be 0 0.05. Okay. So we have saved it and we are closing the chat in. See, there is no error. Error identification is a very important task. So already I have created seismic definition. I have inserted the seismic weight also. How we can find out? See here, go to this plus symbol definitions, seismic definition. If you click on this plus sign and plus sign, see all they have come into this picture. See, automatically all this has been uh, represented, which I have done in the study editor. So, a beautiful software, right? This is a software every civil engineer should know. It takes time. I learned it for three months when I studied and I grasped all the concepts, how to design a chimney, how to design over a tank, how to design a highway, everything is under my name. Only practice is there. So zone factor, see here, all the things have been represented. Self weight one, member weight, all they have been represented, even the flow loop. 
so this thing starting from this part is taken care by this self head see here this total self which i was telling you let me show you where if you go for manual calculation see here uh, dead load valves liable seismic fit see obviously when you are studying or when you are conducting the static method you will have to manually do it so all this manual calculation has been done just right now how much is the dead load total load all this even there are some tricks to calculate the seismic fit of buildings that is in a that is out of scope that you can uh, that i can teach you in a different class if time permits manual calculation of self fit is very important sorry seismic fit because there is a trick there so coming to the model so we have taken the seismic fit now another important thing is left that is we have to create four different load cases we will go to load case here and we have to create four different load cases that is two for seismic load in plus x and minus x direction let me show you the screen that is first when you were we are uh, dealing with the stat particularly i will tell you that we have to create four different or minimum two maximum four we have to create a uh, minimum four or two load cases details for seismic so one two three and four fifth will be dead load and sixth will be live load so first of all uh, yeah i am showing all these things then i will take okay so i will go to load case details so first of all let us go to stat editor because i will have to edit this thing go to stat editor we have to change the live load as 5, uh, 6 and dead load as load case 5 obviously there will be error because i have not created the first four load cases so first we will create the load cases go to loads and definition load case details we will click on this plus sign or double click now click on this load case details and add the so first will be seismic load number 1 loading time seismic you will give the value sl plus x many people take only two direction plus x and plus z but i take four direction plus x minus x plus z and minus z even in the plus direction they give the more worse effect so sl plus x sl minus x sl plus z sorry and sl minus I will do the changes. Okay, no problem. Here it has been haphazard. I will go to stat editor. I will change all these loading number. Okay, so we will go to stat editor. First will be my load case one, two, three, four. Yeah, I will copy all this and I will go to this. Up before dead load, I will go to this load one, two, three. See here. I will remove the irrelevant part. So see here. Here I have changed load one, load two, load three, and load four. It says make loads in various directions. Okay. So now there will no be any. There will be no error. I hope. Let's see where is the error. oh yeah load combination we will remove this obviously we have to change few things okay we will remove the load combination sentences and 
we have to make dead load, live load, both uh, fifth and sixth, and seismic load. You can do this before also, okay? No problem. Now there is no error. So the format will be like this, okay? So we have to remove all the load combination. That is a limit state load combination which we had done in the previous file because this was the file we had already done in the last class. Okay, so we are uh, doing some modification on the existing. File. So SL plus X, we will add this. What we will add? You will add and you will select seismic loads. Seismic loads, X direction factor one, that is plus one. We will add this. Load. Come into seismic load minus six. Click on this. Click on add. Here we will go back to the seismic loads and factor will be minus one. Add. Similarly, seismic load Z plus Z. Go to the seismic loads. Now we will select the Z direction. Factor one. Obviously, it is SL plus Z. Are you all able to understand? I hope so. No response. I don't know. You should be attentive enough during the software classes because it's a very innovative and very interesting. So, seismic load minus Z add seismic loads. Z direction and factor minus one. Add. So we have created four seismic loads. SL plus X plus minus X plus Z and minus Z. I already told you we have we can put four maximum load cases, even minimum two. Many people they take only plus X and plus Z. Everyone understood till this point? Any doubt, I will repeat. No problem. One of the most important ideas is that. Any problem? I'm not getting any responses. I feel everyone is sleeping in the morning. Anyways. It doesn't bother to me actually. Are you able to understand the way I'm teaching? Yes, sir. Arjoy, do you have stat in your laptop? Are you practicing? So I tried downloading. So I download for a chest of each lump into our laptop. A me antivirus to a coach for a chillum that they put out for the barrack in the somehow block for the chill. But I'm a mild catch a chit, a me okani or a chest of each. Okay, okay, you. Yeah, you should try this because this is the time, or even in the fourth year, you require this software. When if you go, if you want to do a good BTEC project, this software will be very helpful. I should at least you should learn some of the items because it is a huge software which contains a lot of topics. So you will not able to cover all these things. Few of them you should understand. Okay, so seismic load we have already created. Please check this. This is the format or this is the sequence we have to follow when we are putting seismic load. Mind it, in a structure, we do not consider all the loads. That means we take seismic, wind, dead load, live load. Not like this. Either we take seismic load, dead load, live load is always there. Along with this, if there is seismic load, only seismic mode. If seismic load is not there, you can take wind. Load. Two of the items we do not take, but in a model, you can put. No problem. Okay, so we have Chronologically, we have uh, arranged the various load case details. Now, the thing which is left is load combination. So, we will go to loads and definition. Load case details, we will add. 
so auto load combination we will uh, use the limit state uh, that is 1.5 times dead load plus live load 1.2 times dead load plus live load plus earthquake load and 0.9 dead load plus 1.5 earthquake load so all these limit state methods they are already given in your is 456 maybe page number 72 most probably so indian code we will go to jl structure and generate loads so here we have getting 27 load combinations practically the first 10 to 15 are most important all we are taking because i have taken seismic load plus x minus x plus z minus z so there are 27 load combinations which have been formed if you use a permutation combination concept you have three different load combinations and you have here load cases five okay so we will add this so all these load combination have been added so our seismic definition has been conducted the basic dead load live load uh, are already existing and already we have taken into consideration the auto load combination now very important what is the thing we have to do now we have to go to analysis perform analysis all and add finally this is the part but also we have to do one thing very important see now we have to go see here we have to find out the results of this chart this is the final thing we are going to do see here this is the final chart we have to find out so to find out this chart there will be four different values of lateral forces acting on various floor of the building first is due to seismic load plus x another chart will be for minus x then plus z then minus z so for that we have to separately find out the values so that is why what i am doing see here this is very important part for load one load type seismic sl plus x after the second line in the third line we will click on this load 2 and define comma we will what we will do it we will do the change sorry we perform analysis after current load data add then we will change add so two things we will do this for all the four different seismic cases again i am showing i'm i'm just del uh, deleting this go to load case 2 click on this Th that means clicking on this the options which i'm selecting that will not be reflected on this sentence it will be reflected the sentence before this line so load case just see this load 2 click define commands load data after current then add then click on change that means we want to change add similarly for click on load 3 define commands perform analysis of okay, no problem load data after current this is very important add and finally click on change add that means after plus x there will be a set of values so that will be erased that will be printed that and the computer memory it is there the values due to sl plus x they are inside the memory of the stack that will be printed if you do not select this after current and change the same values will be represented for sl plus x plus z plus uh, minus x and minus z so that is why under every load cases you have to click the change done now similarly go for load 
click on define commands perform analysis load data after current add click on change add and finally for the last sl minus z click on load 5 define commands load data after current add change add so these are the things see here very important this will be represented in your output file okay and finally at the end of the sentences we have already done perform analysis no problem oh sorry i'm sorry uh sorry uh the slight change which i am doing sorry i am deleting all this uh, whatever i have told you i am deleting all these things that is the perform analysis change why i am deleting i will tell you okay so the things which i have showed you this will be this has been done in pre print option see in the left side we have to do it in post print this was in pre print mode we have to go for post print click on post print now we will repeat the same thing load 2 we will click on this define commands Just a minute. In this part, you can uh, take all the load options and you can find out all these joint displays, pane, story drift, everything else. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, so Okay, so we will load data so we will after current add change add so for load one we have done similarly we will go for load two perform analysis load data after current add change add so for load two Perform analysis, load data after current add, 
change add we'll load file define commands load data after current add change add okay. so no problem we have done the performance analysis and we analyze the program Hopefully, I know there will be no error. Lot of things have been done. There will be no error. Yeah, there is zero error. Fourteen seconds. We will now view to view output file. First thing, what is the main thing for you civil engineers that in when you are uh, analyzing any structure using STAT, the first target will be you should be. is syntactically correct and second is there no error should be there we will go to view output file in the view output file i will show you the value go to the results directly in the left bottom corner go to the results if you see in this here uh, in the output file we could not see all the forces or the the list that the table of values what we will do is that it is error free program that is uh, not a big issue we will go to the loads and definitions we will go to stat editor first we will then show you uh, i am removing the stat editors there is a reason
okay so we will go to load case detail add auto load combination indian code generate loads okay here i forgot to click one thing that is create repeat load case details create repeat load cases and we will add here and close now after this what we will do we will go to analyze all already these are there now we will go to post print option define commands we will take all the loads load list we will add this and we want member forces add so finally analysis and print now we do the analysis again just we want to need the full list of values under different seismic loads the program is running it will take some time because already uh, the what about the things which have done which is uh, not common when we are uh, dealing with dead load and live load okay so we have taken four different uh, seismic loads sl plus x plus z minus x and minus z and i want to get this values for all the direction of seismic loads so this is a manual calculation which they do so this is the dead load they have calculated the various uh, slab loads beam load and column load normal then they have taken a uh, calculated the the load due to wall thickness finally they have calculated for dead load all this is a manual calculation similarly same thing has been done for live load and this is the seismic weight after calculating the seismic weight we calculate the base shear already these things i have sent to in the google classroom the base shear we calculate after this base shear and taking all these parameters we calculate the base shear and this vertical distribution of lateral load and this is the table so this is the table which i was trying for so long come back to this stat file let us see yeah the stat file is running it is a heavy file it has taken 127 seconds more than 2 minutes now we will go to results so we will go to post processing mode we can go to stat output file see here this i was trying to see everyone this i was trying for the last 5 minutes for loading time see here for loading time seismic load sl plus x time period for x 1893 0.26 second ac by g 2.5 they have calculated load factor 1 and see here in different joints that means in different level they have calculated 9.145 that is at level 1 meter that means at level 1 meter means let me show you this is the 1 meter 
level. See, this is the one meter level because the thin ground here. The how much force is coming due to SL plus X? Let us see here. This is nine point one four five. Total base shear is coming fourteen. Uh, sorry, four one six zero. So at level one meter, it is nine point one four five. We will put this in this table. In this table, right? In this table, in the in the first floor, we will take where that is the seismic weight. What they have calculated, and this is the value Q. Next, coming to this one, the second floor it is one forty nine at four meter level. One forty nine point eight. So in the second uh, floor, you will put one forty nine like this. So in various, so in various levels in all the floors, they have calculated that Q that is the distributed load and base shear. Similarly, for SL minus X, they have calculated all these things. For SL plus Z, it is eight point five seven eight. All this like this. So This is how we will able to calculate the lateral forces. These are these the thing total. These are the lateral forces Q at various floor level, and V B is the addition of all these things. Three nine zero two. That means what? If you go for from this, you can check this value eight point five seven eight plus one forty point five zero two. So we just add this all this. So understood how we will conduct the uh, stat, that is the static analysis in stat. In the animation part, you can, sorry, not animation. I think yeah, I can find out the animation. Or in the beams, if you select the load, the dead load, this is the bending moment diagram. If you take the earthquake load, let us plus x. See, due to plus x, that is seismic load, that is horizontal load. This is the bending moment. So we are on minus x plus z. You can check this plus z means this z. So in various direction, you can find out the bending moment clicking on this values. Okay. If you want to go for animation. Deflection, okay. If you see it, see it is the lateral vibration of the structure subject to minus z direction. If you take seismic load along positive x, it will be like this. A negative x, just in you know, opposite direction. Plus z, so that the shaking of the earthquake in positive z direction. You can also find out the animation. Go to post processing mode. Click on this animation. Deflection. Click apply. Okay. If you want to see the animation due to uh, 1.5 dead load plus live load, see here, it is depressing. You can check for the C. You can check any load combination. Whatever you feel. That means it is due to dead load, live load, as well as seismic load. So this load case number you have to find out, and you can check what is the load case number three, thirty-three. Sorry, load case number thirty-three. Load case number is point nine five. That is point nine dead load plus SL minus Z. 1.5. So this is how we follow the seismic analysis, or it is called equivalent static analysis on structure. Have you all understood this thing? Have you all understood? So you have to practice it one to two times minimum. 
and the load the sequence of the load which i told you is very important this you have to remember So I am giving you a one point, sorry, a ten minutes break. Then I will come to the RCC design of the structures. Okay, I will be.